Hey everybody, I'm Jason Kemmerer. I'm one of the consulting sales engineers here at ForcePoint. Um, and today we're gonna to talk about risk adaptive protection. Um, so this is something that ForcePoint's been really building up in the making for the last several years. And what we're really doing is taking a more proactive approach to DLP. Uh, everyone knows the commodities of DLP, right? Um, the audits, the blocking, the user coaching, the encryption. And over time, um, DLP programs tend to either suffer due to a lack of staffing or you know, tra uh, transfer of resources, teammates, um, just changing security policies, acquisitions, the whole gamut, right? And we understand that. But what if there was a way that we could um, really drill into the individual user and look at the actions of risk that that user is bringing to the organization and then alter their DLP on the fly in order to apply uh, the most efficient DLP policies to them? So over here on the slide, um, we're really taking things from a risk perspective. By having a, a collector agent on the workstation that whenever users sign into, we're actually to do things that DLP ordinarily can't even do. And that's going to be applying, uh, you know, inspection engines on what type of URLs they're visiting, what files are they're downloading, how much are they downloading, and then last but not least, apply the typical DLP policies in case they're using things to remove uh, move items over to USB, you know, Dropbox, various cloud applications, or just uh, typical emails um, to outside sources, right? So over here on the left side, we have the risk scores. This is a very typical workflow, um, moving from a, a flow of we're gonna audit every transaction that DLP is gonna look. We may even wanna notify that user or the user's manager so they can start taking some conversations and ownership of their respective employees and then move into more uh, critical actions such as user coaching. Are you sure you wanna do this? Was this an approved process? Just in case they don't have an exception, we can start interjecting. And then last but not least, um, if it is indeed a high risk, we can either encrypt the transaction going outbound specifically on USB sticks, or if not, just block the transaction in general, report this to the security teams, um, and then take that um, remediation all the way through. Um, no difference is gonna be seen by the end user. And the real beauty of that is that for the DLP administrators, you can apply this to any rule, any policy, as well as even exceptions, which means you can actually start reintroducing uh, data governance or coaching and training programs back to the users, even if your DLP has been blocking for many years. So if you want to see more information on risk adaptive protection, uh, contact us at forcepoint.com for a deep dive one-on-one -on -one live demonstration. Thanks.